Hi everybody, it's Pastor Chrissy and it's Wednesday and so I'm bringing you a psalm. I'm not quite in the woods because the ticks are bad and the bugs are bad because it's May in Maine, <laughs> but I am near the woods and I wanted to also to have this field behind us because the scripture talks about God setting us down in a broad place. It's nice to have a little bit of a broad place near us. The scripture I'm reading today is Psalm 18 verses 1 through 19. It has a wild and raucous and earth-moving vision of God. And so I'm going to invite you as you listen, and maybe after you listen, to consider what go-to images of God do you have in your mind? Um, what metaphors for God do you carry with you most of the time? Do they ever look like this one that I'm getting ready to read? Uh, what, is it, what would it feel like you, for you to imagine God in this way? What would it feel like for the writer of this psalm, whoever first composed it and whoever eventually wrote it down, um, to consider God in this wild, earth-moving way? I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God, my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, and so I shall be saved from my enemies. The cords of death encompassed me. The torrents of perdition assailed me. The cords of shale entangled me. The snares of death confronted me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord. To my God, I cried for help. From God's temple, God heard my voice. And my cry to God reached God's ears. And then the earth reeled and rocked. The foundations also of the mountains trembled and quaked because God was angry. Smoke went up from God's nostrils and devouring fire from God's mouth. Glowing coals flamed forth from God. God bowed the heavens and came down. Thick darkness was under God's feet. God rode on a cherub and flew. God came swiftly upon the wings of the wind. God made darkness his covering around him, his canopy, thick clouds dark with water. Out of the brightness before God, there broke through his clouds, hailstones, and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered in the heavens, and the Most High uttered his voice. And God sent out God's arrows and scattered them. God flashed forth lightning and routed them. When the channels of the sea were seen and the foundations of the world were laid bare at your rebuke, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils. God reached down from on high. God took me. God drew me out of mighty waters. God delivered me from my strong enemy and from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. God confronted me, they confronted me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my support. God brought me out into a broad place. God delivered me because he delighted in me. It's incredible to hear this particular vision of God. It's also kind of terrifying. But what must this writer have felt like? To feel the need for something so strong, so undefeatable, so capable and powerful, and yet still co so concerned with one person that they would pluck that person out of the depths set them somewhere broad. Uh, broad places are places that are ready for cultivation in these stories, ready to make uh, places that are ready for you to begin to make a home, to plant crops, to take care of your people. I don't know what your go-to image of God is these days. Maybe it's this one, <laughs> this fire and coals and powerful darkness. Maybe it's the mother hen. Maybe it's the eagle. 
Maybe it's a depth that you will never actually assign an image to because it's just too much to even imagine. However you need God to be with you. To know that God delights in you. I hope that you feel that today. That you feel this delight from God. And if you are in the midst of a place where you feel like you are nearly defeated, you can feel like God is reaching out. And sometimes he's reaching out through the people who know you to pull you up and out. I hope you're doing okay. I hope you have stayed cool on this very warm day. I hope that your gardens are coming along. I hope to see you soon. We're working on some plans to try to meet together later this summer and actually worship in person. We don't know exactly what that looks like like yet we will update you as that those plans come along we want to be together as safely as we can so we don't need to be plucked out of dangerous places if you need anything please call the church you can check out our website at wcc w uh, ccucc .org, or and you can find our phone number there and give us a call i hope you're well please let us know if you need anything